Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another junk journal with me and this junk journal with me is a really subtle documentation of my birthday, which was on January 26th. So I turned 25. I didn't really do a whole lot for my birthday this year, but I had a really nice day with my family. And in this journal with me, I also wanted to show you guys a few ways I thought you could use the scrap rolls that I've shown you in my most recent videos. So I'm going to have a little play with that as well in this junk journal with me. This year, I really want to try out some new things like the snippet rolls, some smaller projects and creative paper projects. And I really also want to share more tutorials and just expand on my own creativity, which actually brings me to Skillshare, who I'm excited to tell you is sponsoring today's video. So if you don't know what Skillshare is yet, it's an online learning community where members alongside fellow creative and like-minded people can try new projects, learn new skills and empower themselves to grow no matter what their schedule may be. The classes are designed for real life so you can learn with short classes that fit your own busy routine. Skillshare has a great range of inspiring classes in several different categories including photography, film and video, fine art, illustration, as well as business, lifestyle and so many more. My favourite classes tend to be in the illustration category and I've recently taken a class in gouache illustration with Vanessa Gillings and that really helped me to understand painting and layering with gouache so much better and correct a lot of the mistakes I had been making with gouache previously. Next, I'd really like to take the gouache florals class by Peggy Dean to see how the skills given in each can sort of come together to improve my abilities. So the first class with Vanessa showed you through actually drawing, sketching out your character and then how to paint in layers and use gouache effectively. And I feel like this next class I'm going to take with Peggy looks a little bit more loose. So you actually just sort of free painting with gouache. So I'm excited to see how those different skills can come together and improve my own abilities. Painting is something that I find really fun and relaxing and something that I've been enjoying doing just for the sake of it with no pressure. And having only tried gouache for the first time about a year ago, Skillshare has really helped me to learn a lot about this medium. Skillshare is incredibly affordable, especially when compared to in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is about $10 a month. And what I really like about Skillshare is that you have access to everything, which means you're able to browse the entire site in every category to easily explore and try new things with no pressure attached whatsoever. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, the first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get two free months of premium membership so you can explore your creativity in 2020. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the junk journal with me. So like I said, this junk journal with me is a bit of a subtle documentation of my birthday and that's because I didn't really include anything really birthday themed, but I include things from my birthday like the photos and the wrapping paper that you can see me cutting. And I wanted to make this little fold out piece on this page that sort of, it sort of opens out a few different ways. I've done this before. I tried this idea a couple of weeks ago in my journal and I really liked how it turned out. I did it with a full page, but in this junk journal with me, I just wanted to do a smaller version of that. So basically I cut out a strip of this wrapping paper and then I sewed it to sort of make, I guess it would be like a circle shape because it's attached the entire way around. So sewed down one edge and then I folded it in ways um, inside so that it sort of folds in and out. It's really hard to explain, but you can sort of see um, better what I mean just from the visuals in this video on how to do that. It's super duper easy, but it just opens out in several different ways. So you can sort of attach things to the different sides of that paper. And it's just like a, an interesting little fold out piece you can easily add to your page. So I attached it to the page with some wide washi tape, and then I'm taking this little um, piece of scrap roll and I unfortunately ripped a little bit with the washi tape one of the patterns which is okay but I just wanted to have a little play around and to show you guys sort of what I thought you could use these for. The main two ideas that I had for the scrap rolls was to use as pockets and just to use to trim off smaller pieces that you can use as like labels or title pieces or whatever you want in your journal. The thing is with the scrap rolls is it's just 
it's just paper so you can use it however you want and you can use it for anything that you want and I like that the sewing and everything on the scrap rolls gives a nice texture and interest to the page so I created a full-sized uh, side loading pocket with the scrap roll and I attached it with some double-sided tape and I like all the different patterns of paper coming together and the stitching that's on the scrap roll just adds a nice texture to my page so I created that pocket and then I slipped a photo inside and then I'm just playing around with the other pieces that I have. So I trimmed off a smaller piece that I thought I could use as like a little title or like a little, I guess like a little cluster. So I added a tiny word sticker on top of that and I just popped it on top of some sort of glassine paper bag paper and that just added a little bit of extra interest and more patterns to the page. And then with the other photo that I had here, I just attached it directly onto the page with double-sided tape. So it's a picture, the one in the pocket is a picture of me and my kids and the other photo is just my three kids. And then the other photo is a Polaroid picture which is actually just a blurry photo that is <laughs> not really a great photo. So, so two of my sisters got me an Instax camera which I was super excited about because I wanted one of those for such a long time but I've just sort of never really justified it. But they got me one for my birthday. And so I've been playing around with it, taking some photos. And for this particular spread, I thought, what if I took a picture with the Instax of the picture that I have of my kids? Um, and I tried and it just ended up being blurry. So it was a fail. It didn't work out, um, but that's okay. I still thought that instead of just throwing out that, um, that picture, I would just include it on this page. And I think it looks interesting as well because it's not very clear exactly what it is. But when you look at it, you can tell that it's got sort of the same colors and everything as the other photos that I've included on this page. And then the following page, I didn't actually end up journaling onto the following page, but I thought that it might carry on. So I added another pocket down the bottom of the page with another piece of the scrap roll. And I really like how that looks with the linen and everything on this page. And then this other scrap of paper from the uh, Flourish paper pad by Maggie Holmes. I love the way purple looks with yellow and I love all those purple tones in that that little scrap of paper so I also attach that down the side of the page to create another pocket. Then I thought I would use a couple more pieces of the scrap roll to create little journaling places on the page and so I cut out a few strips and I thought I would just sort of cluster them a little bit spaced out in that top corner there where there's a bit of empty space but I ended up actually preferring the way that it looked sort of sitting over the top of that photo. And I just like the way that it sort of layers and softens everything to sort of sit over the top like that. And then so I decided to use another piece on the other photo as well. And I just stapled these on and I'm going to use those as sort of title pieces. I added some tiny word stickers on top of those just to annotate the photos. And then with this little fold out piece that I made, I'm just trying to work out what I want to put on it. I didn't actually want to cover it up too much because this is wrapping paper from something my other sister got me for my birthday and it's such pretty paper. So I didn't really want to cover over the top, but I did want to add a few things to add some interest to it and to make it a little bit more functional. So I was playing around with adding a pocket and I didn't really like the way the patterned papers looked on top of it because I felt like it was too busy and it sort of took away from that pretty pattern. So I just used more of that glassine paper bag over the top, created a little pocket and just tucked in a little label piece in there that I could journal on later. And on that first pocket I made with the scrap roll, I added one of my vintage linen printables over the top. And then I also added another one of those little label pieces on top as well. And that just helps to um, embellish it a little bit more. So you can really do whatever you want with the scrap rolls. You could add a whole lot more to it than what I have. You could sew buttons onto it. You could add more stickers. You could put a photo directly on top of it. It's essentially just a fun little roll of different paper scraps. So you can do whatever you like with it. Then I took this little paper bag that was a birthday themed paper bag. And I just trimmed it down so I could have a really small pocket sit above the photo on the right side of the page. 
and I just tucked in a project life card inside of that paper bag and that just gives me some more journaling space as well. I think the last thing that I did was just take out some more sticker sheets and just decorate it around the page a little bit more. I added a couple of these little floral stickers to the little scrap roll pieces where I put the tiny word sticker titles or annotations and just added a few other stickers around the page. And I like all the little details that those stickers sort of add. It's not something that uh, you notice straight away, but it just adds a little bit more depth and interest to the page. And that is the finished page. I feel like using those scrap rolls was a really easy, quick way to add more interest and texture to the page. It took hardly any effort, but it looks like it did because all of the effort was done before. So it sort of added that embossing texture and the stitching texture. Um, but realistically in this process, it took hardly any time at all to add that to the page. And I really like how this little fold out piece works on the page too. I think it's really interesting. And I think you could add a lot more to it and you could maybe even make a longer one, which would be really cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this junk journal with me today. You can let me know down in the comments if you have any other videos you'd like to see or any tutorials that you'd like me to cover. I hope you guys are all having a really great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.